going solar might sound like a foolproof way to save money and live off clean energy but here's the truth most people make serious mistakes that can ruin their investment some of these mistakes are so common that even professionals miss them like overspending on the wrong type of solar panels underestimating power needs or installing systems that fail in a year did you know that one bad decision like choosing the wrong inverter size or battery type can leave your entire system offline when you need it most. Or that placing panels at the wrong angle could cut your solar output in half. If you're planning to install solar, whether for your home, RV or an off-grid cabin, you need to know these top 10 mistakes people make so you don't fall into the same traps. Watch until the end to save yourself from wasted money time and frustration trust me mistake number 10 is the one even the pros don't talk about mistake number one not understanding your power needs one of the biggest mistakes people make is guessing how much energy their household uses they buy a solar kit based on rough estimates and end up either underpowered or massively over budget to avoid this you need to calculate your daily energy consumption in watt hours Go through your electric bills and find out exactly how much energy you use each day. Keep in mind that some appliances like refrigerators or air conditioners consume way more energy than you think. If you underestimate your power needs, you'll drain your batteries too quickly or worse, overload your system. On the flip side, overestimating means you'll spend more than necessary on extra panels and equipment you don't need. Mistake number two, installing panels at the wrong angle and position. Not all rooftops are solar friendly. Many people install panels without checking if their roof gets enough sunlight throughout the day. This mistake is easy to make if you're not aware of things like roof angle, tilt and shading. Panels need to be installed at the right tilt to maximize sun exposure based on your location. Even a little shade from a tree, chimney or nearby building can drastically reduce the system's efficiency. The worst part? If one panel in a string gets shaded, it can reduce the output of the entire array. You will want to invest in microinverters or power optimizers to avoid this issue if shading is unavoidable. Mistake number three, buying cheap panels and components. We get it, solar isn't cheap. But going with the cheapest panels, inverters or batteries can be a costly mistake in the long run. Cheap panels often have lower efficiency, degrade faster and might not come with proper warranties. Inverters and batteries are no place to cut corners either. An unreliable inverter can fail when you least expect it and low quality batteries will leave you without power after just a few months. Remember, you're building a system designed to last 20 to 30 years. Invest in good components upfront to avoid expensive replacements later. Mistake number four, ignoring maintenance requirements. A lot of people think once the solar panels are installed, they are set for life. But here's the truth. Solar systems need regular maintenance to keep running at peak efficiency. Dust, dirt, bird droppings and debris can block sunlight from reaching your panels, reducing your power output by 20-30% if left unchecked. If you're using batteries, especially lead acid ones, you'll need to monitor their water levels and clean the terminals regularly. Even with maintenance-free lithium batteries, it's essential to monitor their charge cycles to avoid unexpected failures. Neglecting these small tasks can shorten the lifespan of your system and leave you in the dark. Mistake number five, skipping a battery backup system. Here's a mistake a lot of homeowners make, going solar without a battery backup. They assume they'll be fine as long as the sun is shining, but what happens when it's cloudy for several days or there's a blackout? Without a battery bank, your solar system is useless at night or during a power outage. 
Even if you're tied to the grid, a battery yes. backup can save you from outages and help you take advantage of net metering by storing extra power. Lithium batteries are expensive but worth the investment. They charge faster, last longer and require less maintenance than traditional lead-acid batteries. Mistake number six, miscalculating inverter size. Your inverter is the brain of your solar system. It converts DC energy from your panels and batteries into AC energy for household use. But using the wrong size inverter is one of the most common and costly mistakes. If the inverter is too small, it can't handle the power demand, causing it to overload and shut down. If it's too large, it will run inefficiently and waste energy. Make sure you size your inverter properly based on the maximum load your system will need at any given time. And remember, some appliances like refrigerators or pumps need a surge capacity much higher than their running wattage. Mistake number seven, forgetting to factor in weather variability. Many people don't take seasonal and weather variations into account when designing their solar system. Solar panels don't generate the same amount of power year round. Winter months produce less energy and cloudy days will cut production dramatically. If you don't size your system properly to account for these dips in energy output, you could run out of power during critical times. You might need to oversize your system slightly or include a generator as a backup to ensure you have enough energy throughout the year, especially if you live in an area with unpredictable weather. Mistake number eight, ignoring local regulations and permits. Installing solar isn't just about mounting panels on your roof. You also need to navigate local laws and permitting processes. Many homeowners make the mistake of skipping this step only to find out later that their system isn't up to code or they're missing required inspections. In some places you could face fines or be forced to remove the system entirely if it doesn't meet local regulations. Make sure you check with your local government or HOA before starting your project and if you're not sure about the requirements, hire a solar installer who knows the ropes. Mistake number nine, not taking advantage of incentives and tax credits. Solar isn't cheap, but there are plenty of incentives, rebates and tax credits that can significantly reduce your costs. A common mistake is failing to research and apply for these incentives. Depending on where you live, you could get federal tax credits, state rebates or utility company incentives that cover up to 30% or more of your installation costs. Missing out on these programs is like leaving money on the table. Be sure to apply for these incentives before you start the installation. Some programs require pre-approval and missing deadlines could mean losing thousands of dollars. And finally, mistake number 10, failing to future-proof your system. Solar isn't just a one-time investment your energy needs might grow over time. Maybe you'll want to add an electric vehicle, a new air conditioner, or expand your house. If your system isn't designed to grow with your needs, you could end up starting from scratch a few years down the road. The best approach is to oversize your inverter and charge controller slightly and leave room for additional solar panels and batteries. Planning ahead can save you a lot of headaches and prevent you from needing costly upgrades later. And there you have it, the top 10 mistakes to avoid when going solar. Whether you're installing panels for your home, RV or cabin, avoiding these pitfalls will save you money, time and frustration in the long run. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on more tips and guides. Have you made any of these mistakes before? Or do you have questions about your solar setup? Drop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching and here's to a future powered by the sun.